Okay, what have we got? It's a sand sensor. I came all this way for a sand sensor. I, I don't even know anymore. What am I doing? Okay, so we're gonna go on the other side of the info bar now to the east, like he actually told us to. Oh, when we get our first, and we get another save point. There's somebody living here. Yeah, why the hell is somebody living here? Oh, but they're way on the other side over there, and I'm gonna have to leapfrog my way over there. Yeah, it doesn't look like you should be able to make that jump, but you can. You freaking can. I don't get it. Okay, there's there doesn't seem to be anything up here. Really? Come on, there's gotta be something. Fine, just go down and talk to whoever is living there for whatever reason. Nope, yep, went the wrong way. Do we have any new enemies now? Oh, what the hell is this? Uh, let's just... Let's just jab it, you know, give it the old one too. Until I figure out what this is. It's a... no... What the hell? He healed me. Okay, I heard about these. I don't I don't remember ever encountering them. But yeah, they heal you. So I'm just gonna charge and let him heal me pretty much all the way back to full. And then I'm gonna kill him. Uh well, I'll meet you back when I try to kill him. Be right back. Okay, I think I've let him heal me up enough. I, because of him I have full 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 fuel and I'm pretty good on HP, but I think it's time to end this. Yeah, he goes down with three shots. That was all I did. So, yeah, if you find that thing, don't kill him. Just, just, a, just food for thought there. Okay, where, where was that guy's house? Here we go. Time to save. Okay, you notice that the gears are actually too big to go in there. But we just jump out anyways. Uh, you can get out of your gears anytime you want. You go to the menu, go to gear, gear on, off. We'll get you out of them. But um, because this is a cutscene, it'll just automatically get us out. You're old. Make yourself at home. Uh, I know you guys just barged in, but surely you're not here to rob me. Did you fall from the surface? Yes. Yes, we did. Right, the, the legs seem to be playing up a bit. Yes, yes they do. You should be able to, if you knew anything about gears. If you know anything about, you know, machines. And, yeah, you would be able to know. The name's Balthazar. Yeah. Um, if you can right now guess what two other people's names are in this LP, or this, uh, this game here, you would know your Bible. Yeah, Balthazar, come on. What are the other two? I only know one out of their name. Oh, no, I know one the other two. But I'm not giving it away to you guys. No. Oh, it's definitely not Melchior and Balthazar and, oh, now I can't remember the other one. Oh, they're the three wise men. He's a collector. Can I steal it? He finds fossils. So let's go look. I trust. Yes, strangers, you can look at my most trusted possessions human and animal fossils. Oldest to newest, okay. Right. Yeah, they're the same sprite it looks like. So no, I don't see it either. First, there are no human bones up to here. What? Human fossils suddenly no longer appear. 10,000 years ago, okay, so like 10,000 years ago must have been that spaceship crash that we saw in the intro. 
with the captain that killed himself and the kind of hot lady that stood naked on the beach. Yeah, what about evolution? The theory taught by the ethos? Ah, evolution isn't real. Ben Stein told me. Legends, myth, what? Dun dun dun. Humans and God lived together in a paradise in the sky. With God's protection, there was no fear of death. The natural disasters were entirely unknown. And one day, the humans ate forbidden fruit, which gave them incredible wisdom. But God drove mankind from paradise for, s for their sin. Better at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself, but God poured his wrath down on them. All who defied God were destroyed, but God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking paradise with him, the wounded God buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. What? Okay, he used his remaining power to create right hearted humans to live on this planet. Those, these people are said to be our ancestors. So what happened to all the bad people? They all died? No, don't stop talking now. You're the first interesting character I've talked to in a couple parts. What the hell do you know? Oh, let's just talk about Nexit. Dude, they want me to destroy God. This guy says he knows the story of God, and we're not going to ask any questions. The hell? That's it. On the other side is an old Ave excavation site. Okay. But they've stopped work there now, so... so how do we open such a huge thing like that? Right. Hold your horses! We don't have horses, we have gears. It's much too strong. So, so what do you propose? Old man ball? Do the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can't get through to the other side either. Right. Kind of. Maybe we were fighting. Maybe we weren't. Are you going to punish us if we were? You have to turn... I already went to the freaking sand sensor. Wait, there's more than one? Super. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Okay, so I saw both of them. I thought they were the same one, though. Right. Wait, he has he has gear parts. I want I want his gear parts. Um, I know where the sensors are. I'm not exactly sure how to get to the other one, but I'll figure it out. But you said you have parts. For gear use? Right. Of oh, course. Yeah. Changing the engine is always good. Um, yeah, he can tune it up. Um, the frame, I believe. Oh. And then, so we want fuel. Yeah, no. Just 10 gil. That's worth it. Uh, what can we do for the engine? Um, six output. What am I getting? What am I getting now? Uh, it's that's the thing. It's always hard to tell. Um, but it looks like it's better. Yeah, right now we're only getting four output, so I do want the six. Right. Then for Brigandier, he's got the same thing, so I want to do that. Oh, I need to restore his fuel as well. Just ten gold or gill or whatever it is. And then, um, let's look at the frame. Um, 2,500, 2,100. Ah, 2,500, of course. And then for him, we're going up to 2,700. Now I gotta freaking do the fuel again. 10 more gold. 10 more gold. Now, armor time. What do we got? Alright, uh, AR value 60 instead of, I assume, 30, so that's worth it. And that's worth it. Nice! So, we got all his stuff. Nice. Uh, what kind of weapons can I get? I can't get any weapons. Um... 
No, I don't want any more of those. Okay. Now I'll meet you at the character equipment screen, screen to see what he's got there. I don't want to go through all that dialogue again. Okay, and once again, we got Aquasols, uh, which I have 13 of. Rose Sols, which are useless, because Omega Sols are only 50. So I'm going to buy five more of those, and uh, one more sur survival tent, and that's going to do it. Okay, be right back after I sell some crap, and um, we'll probably meet back outside. Okay, we're back, and we're going pretty much back the way we freaking came. Can I make, come on, make that jump. Yeah, I knew you could do it. So we're going pretty much the way we came right now, because this is the way to the easiest sensor that there is to find right now. Where, where was it? First we got a battle, though. Anything new? No. One of you. I don't need you right now, damn it. Okay, so the way that we were going was... I swear it was... Did I, did I miss it? It was from him. I swore it was... Okay, it must be this way then. Yeah, there it is. There's the ledge I was looking for. Yeah, made it first time this time. Disengaged. Sweet. Now the red lights turn off. So that was pretty much that one right there. One now. The hard one to go. What we're going to do now is, thanks to Balthazar's advice... Um, he says there's a path up here in the northwest corner of this room. Here it is. The one I almost saw earlier. Anything new? Come on, something new. No, it's the jellyfish again. Okay, so what we want to do is slide down there and then up into this little path right here. Which will lead us on this upper path that we've been kind of following this entire time. Yeah, we're in for quite a journey here, since it's pretty much a straight shot, and as long as I don't fall off this friggin' ledge, it should be fine. But I make no guarantees that I won't fall off and have to do this all over again. Oh, that would suck so much, though. Oh, man, would it suck. Come on. Next screen, please. I love that the encounter right here is really low. That will change like you wouldn't believe. We are just raking in the level up, so I'm already up to 17 for Faye and 14 for Bart. Good lord. I mean, what were we when we started? Like 12? So it's ridiculous how fast we're getting level ups right now because we're in these gears. You know, you thought I was over leveled because I was grinding? No, no. The game will grind for you, don't worry about it. That's what the gears are for. They're just grinding machines. That sounds so wrong. But I'm staying I I'm sticking with that. I'm proud of that statement. Um uh, Thank you for putting shit in my way so I can't see exactly what's going on. And I'll fall off the freaking bridge. Here's the other sensor. Great hall sensor disengaged. Now we have to make the long trek back. I'll just meet you there.